Hey y'all, today I'm going to be breaking down an extremely cheap but incredibly effective Scarl build. Stick around and let's get into it. So the Scarl has been a gun that I think a lot of players have kind of overlooked since it was added a few months ago. Obviously, lots of players are quick to dismiss 5.56 ammo as being awful or too expensive, which to be fair, I have also said in the past. However, when it comes to building a really good budget gun, this build is surprisingly cheap and gives you a ton of room to upgrade both ammo and parts if needed. Now, I just want to get right into the build, but make sure you keep watching after the breakdown to see how to save more money and of course to see the recoil of the build and raid. So starting with the stock Scar L here, first you're going to want to swap the pistol grip for the MOE AR-15 pistol grip. After that, add the SI Cobra grip to the bottom Picatinny rail. Now, in this mounting slot, you have the option to add the SRX rail extension. It costs around 9k and adds 5 ergo to the gun. In my opinion, this is absolutely worth adding, but if you're trying to keep the cost down as much as you possibly can, just skip this part. Now, when we get to the barrel, we'll want to add the CQB 5.56 muzzle brake, then the CRD attachment onto that. If you absolutely cannot use a gun that isn't suppressed, you can swap this brake out for a QDC muzzle brake and then add the NT4 suppressor onto that. Now this will add around 20 to 25,000 rubles and does drop the ergo by around 15 points, but it will have practically the same recoil. In my opinion, I do think that this build really does benefit from having higher ergo, but honestly, both builds will do the trick. Now, finally for this build is the choice of optic. Like I mentioned in literally every single breakdown I've done, I use the XPS 3-0 hollow sight, which is around 30k, but this is absolutely a personal preference choice, and you can quickly drop the price by even 15,000 rubles if you just want to use something like this weaver sight, but honestly, just pick whichever sight you like. And honestly, that's pretty much the entire build. Super simple. Now, let's move on to the tricks that I was talking about to save you some money and quite a bit of money at that. When we head over to the flea market here, like usual, make sure you untick the traders only option here at the top. Now from there, you're going to want to deselect each and every part that is going to come with the gun, those being the 18 inch barrel, the polymer stock, the upper receiver, the rubber butt pad, the charging handle, and finally the bottom rail mount. Altogether, that's going to save you anywhere from 60 to 80,000 rubles, depending on how much players are selling those things for when you buy them. Now, another super important thing to do is check which scar is being sold to you. Now, what I mean by that is that if you see that this scar has a durability lower than 100 and or doesn't have the 18 inch barrel, do not buy it. Instead, you should right click on it, press filter by item, and then find another one that isn't like that. I'm going to be showing on screen what the scar should look like and just make sure that you buy those ones or else you'll have to spend way more money and the durability will be messed up as well. All right, so finally, I do just want to showcase quickly what the recoil looks like. I know lots of people don't want to just blindly build a gun without seeing how it performs. So here's the hideout test. For this, I loaded 30 rounds of M855 ammo into this mag and did not attempt to control the recoil whatsoever. I'm simply just pressing mouse one and seeing what happens. Overall, for a gun that costs 130k on the high end, this thing really does seem to perform well. I'm definitely going to be using this more. So I think that that does it for this breakdown. Now why not check out this video about making two times more money in your raids? Or how about this one about budget loadouts? Let me know what you'd like to see in the next video by dropping a comment down below. And if you aren't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you did. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.